Hi there, I'm Chris Berman. Here we go on ESPN. It's been home of Kansas City football for more than 30 years now. They're set for football in the Truman Sports Complex, and you know where we're going. The venerable Arrowhead Stadium in KC. ESPN has a good one in store for you. Buffalo Bills, Kansas City Chiefs. This ought to be good. Well, the fans are looking for their seats as the teams are down on the field warming up. Hello and welcome to Arrowhead Stadium. I'm Dan Stevens. Here alongside me is our color commentator, Peter O'Keefe. Peter, today's game features a contest between a core of skilled wide receivers and a squad of athletic, prolific defensive backs. Without question, Dan, it's a contest of speed and wits. The Bills possess a core of wide receivers that are among the fastest in the business. These speedsters can burn you deep, burn you from side to side, and heck, they can burn you short, too. The Chiefs have a superb group of cornerbacks. The thing that stands out most about them is their tenacity. They fly all over the field at top speed, making plays, and they never seem to slow down. These two outstanding groups matching up against one another should make for some exciting football. Okay, Peter, we'll see how they do once the game begins, but first, the toss of the coin. Bell gains five on the play. Slippery or Absolutely. Third down. Three wideouts in the game. They Passes couldn't connect incomplete. on this one. Oh, incomplete. Oh, It'll be fourth down. Ah, I can't believe it. Oh, first down. Makes the nice catch, and he's got the first down. And <laughs> Number 23. Number 26, watches this one left of center and chews up about four on the play. Allen throws a bullet to the flat and... Come on, Chiefs, let's play some defense. Okay, bring him out. Bring him out. We got the chains. No first, baby, no first. No first, baby, no first. Break down, baby! Oh, Woo! Man. Yeah, baby, that's how we get it. First number 88 field. makes the catch on the right sideline and gets past the markers for a first down. Number 88 makes the catch here with three defenders on his tail. I'll tell you, I was not expecting that pass at all. I wonder if he knew it was coming. Yeah, Peter. <laughs> Allen lobs this one deep to the end zone and it's tipped. Whoa, incomplete. Ward is a defensive player that can keep up with anybody. Second year man out of Nebraska, Omaha. He Number 26 gets the ball and he heads out right. Tackled at the 13. It looks like, uh, yeah, we've had an injury down on the field. As soon as we hear anything, we'll be sure to pass the information along to you. Allen lobs this one deep to the end zone and it's caught for a touchdown. Come on, give it up, baby. Number 88 is just crazy good on this play, Dan. He refuses to be intimidated by triple coverage. I would have tried to... is off right guard Bell, and gains about three yards. Yeah. Bell gets the toss and runs into traffic. Spins free. Looks eventually tackled at the 49. First down. Bell got some yardage, but check out this dynamite spin move here. Fantastic. Left him with nothing to hang on to. I never saw that. Interceptor. I'm coming down. I'm coming. Oh, I'm coming. Okay. Oh, Three six on your oh, 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 Well, it's all about getting in position to make the grab. And watch here. Oh, that's perfect position. Boy, that was. Oh. Allen makes the pass, and it is not real in. Incomplete. incomplete. Number 14 didn't haul that one in, and it falls incomplete. 
Third down. Allen throws a big high lob, and field. it's complete for a first down and a whole lot more. <laughs> Number 26 is at the 40, eventually field. shoved out at the 25. That will bring up first down. Number 95 finally makes the play, but not in time. Let's have another look. Oh, yeah, gave up a lot of yards before forcing him out of bounds. A beautiful... <laughs> Allen throws a bullet to the flat, and he's on target Number for 11. a gain of Pass five. Complete. Number 32 Allen, was shaken up Allen. earlier, and I, I hear Susie Culver has a report for us. Susie? Catches the heater field. left sideline, and he's got the first down and a whole lot more. Number 11 plays this one perfectly, getting himself to the right place at the right time to make the catch. The defense should be embarrassed that they let the catch Peter and his stats are moving up. Moving way up, Dan. He's now got 27 yards on three catches. Number 26 gets the call again and maybe picks up one. Touchdown! Number 26 doesn't give up. Watch. That's how to fight from the... Bell is at the 40. First down. Takes a punch on the play, and that brings up a first down. Bell has a great offensive line in front of him. They made that play happen. Yep, those blockers opened up the hole for him. A huge game. Bell first down five on the play, and that will bring up first down. Bell high stepped it over the opposite. Goes in motion. Bell first the missile chief is well past the markers for a first down. Number 15 dumps this one to the flat and it's caught for the score. Number 87 shooters his man on the finer points of coverage on this play. A nice kick. One unhappy man down there. The Chiefs offense takes the field with the clock at 20. Gets the sack and the clock continues to run. Oh, the ball well quarter. behind the original line of scrimmage. What a way to derail a series from the onset. Second and long ahead. And that'll do it for the first half of this one. The Bills enjoying the lead 21-7. And now let's send you to Chris Berman in our studios in Bristol for the ESPN Halftime Report. Boomer? All right, Dan, we'll get back to you in a bit. But welcome, everybody, to the ESPN Halftime Show. I'm Chris Berman. A look at our halftime stats here, and boy, look at the difference in passing yards. The Bills are winning because of it. Let's see if they can keep up their dominance in the second half. We'll pick up the action midway through the first quarter. Allen connected with his man on this one. A 13-yard touchdown for the Bills. The Bills get the first points of the game and go up by seven. The Chiefs on D, number 21, was in the right place at the right time, as his interception was a possible momentum shifter. The Bills, after getting an interception, Bills ahead by seven. Number 26 is going to show a little athleticism here as he finds an opening and then look at him go. He's off to the race. They're now up by 14. The Chiefs now in the second quarter. Bell bounces this one to the outside and he's gonna get some room to maneuver out there. A 20-yard play that set up a Chief touchdown. Chiefs trailing 14 to seven. Number 11 is gonna run a great route here. Have a look as it creates some space and is able to bring this in. A 41-yard touchdown for the Bills. The Bills move ahead by 14. The Bills late into the second quarter. The ball at the 39. Hamilton is reading the quarterback's eyes all the way as he's able to get his hands on this one and pick it off. And that's where we'll leave this one. Chiefs are down at the half, 21 to seven. And now let's check out the undisputed halftime hero of the first half. Allen has taken over this game. 
And now let's <laughs> Number 26 takes it off the toss and <laughs> Allen really rifles this pass and the catch is made well past the markers for a first down. Allen lays this one in beautifully. Gotta see it one more time. Right on the money to his fullest so far. Boy, he's just on. Allen throws the pass and the reception is made at the 39. Brought down hard at the 37. It will be first down. Number 14 has just one guy on him, and he beats him easily. Even with my few extra pounds, I, I think I could have done a better job covering him. Only a slow start, but he's finally got a completion. And maybe now, Peter, he has time to make his mark. Number 26 gets the toss and gets past the line. Number 95. That's this one at the line of scrimmage. Incomplete. Third and long and forces an incompletion. That was a good call by the defensive coordinator. Oh, it sure was. Perfect D for that situation. And it will bring... Bell takes it off the toss and gets past the line. Tackled at the 10. Johnson tackles him behind the line of scrimmage. Johnson targeted the ball carrier early and then... Hill makes the catch in the flat and he's well short of the markers. Allen floats this one out to the right sidelines and it's complete at the 23. Finally dropped at the 5. Number 11 makes the catch but that's not enough for him. He gets it and takes off for more. And Peter, if you were looking for the agreed, man. They, they had it all locked up there. That will bring up second down. Number 26. Pumble. The Chiefs have it. Number 57 will get the carry on fourth down and problem completing this pass he makes it look so easy and he's getting paid so much money Dan it makes you wonder number 58 gets the sack at the 16 to not call his name for this long it is and he's surprised it took this long as well he loves to see the ball coming his way number 15 rifles it out left side and the big catch is made with daylight in front of him he's in for the touchdown Hill is all by himself, and he'll take advantage of it. Easy catch. Wasn't supposed to be a touchdown pass, but he made it one with that terrific run after the catch. He fights. <laughs> Tackled at the 33. It looks like, uh, yeah, we've had an injury down on the field. As soon as we hear anything, we'll be sure to pass the information along to you. By two defenders on this play, but still comes up with the ball. Oh, that's pure skill. You can't coach. Number 26. Gets the ball again and heads left. Number five. Throws a bullet and the reception's made at the 37. Finally popped out of bounds at the 34. That will bring up first down. Ward makes the play here, but not fast enough. Check it out. He pushes him out, but past the marker. He may very well have ruptured his Achilles. Guys, the field goal back to you. As always, with their own territory, and the clock at 1.15. Robinson catches the bullet out left and is at the 30, 10, and he's in for the touchdown. Robinson is going to make the catch. Right there, but that's only the beginning. Look at him chew up the yardage. Peter, they are within striking distance, but time is running down. Yeah, the clock may decide. For the onside kick. Number seven bounces it up. Davis gathers it up at the 43. Stopped at the 41. Uh, I 
Astros. And that is going to That's do it for this one. The Bills come out on top 24 to 21. For my partner, Peter O'Keefe, this is Dan Stevens saying goodbye until next time. Great work as always. And with that, we welcome everybody back to the ESPN studios for our ESPN video games post-game show. I'm Chris Berman. The Bills stepped it up for sure, putting up some good numbers. Let's get started in this one early in the third quarter. Allen would drop back and deliver a strike on this one. Ball at the 43-yard line. Number 11 ran a terrific route here and was able to pull this one in. The Chiefs, after a red zone stop, Chiefs back by 14. Hill emerged as a real weapon as he pulled one in here. They climb back again and are now down by seven. The Bills come right back. Bass would come on and connect on the field goal try. A 44-yard field goal. Bills leading 24 to 14. Robinson came up with a big play as he was able to pull this one in. A 66-yard touchdown for the Chiefs. And that's where we'll leave this one. Bill squeaked out a win, 24 to 21. Now let's catch up with the player who really ignited his team's offense with his death passing and has earned our Player of the Game award. Allen is on the field with our Susie Calvert. Suze? Thank you, Chris. You excelled under pressure today. You may have the ingredient your team needed to pull out a win here. What gave you guys the edge today? Uh, both teams came out ready to play today. Uh, luckily, we were able to come up with some you know, big key plays down the field, and uh, luckily we came out on top. Back to you, Chris. That winds up our broadcast of the NFL preseason on ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports for 25 years and counting. I'm Chris Berman. Thanks for joining us.